Hello and welcome to this Infinitely Virtual training video. In this section we will learn how to download and install the Virtual Infrastructure Client. From the Infinitely Virtual webpage, click on the Support tab. Then scroll down until we reach the popular Downloads section. Click on vSphere Client. From the Windows dialog, click on Save and choose the folder in which to save to. In this case, we will save to the desktop. After the download has completed, select Run or run the installation file from the location it was saved to. If a security warning is displayed, click on Run. Select your language and click OK. At the welcome screen, click Next. Click Next. Select I agree to the terms of the license agreement and click Next. Enter your customer information, then click Next. Accept the default installation path and then click Next. Click Install. Click on Finish to complete the installation. In this next section, we are going to learn how to use the vSphere client to connect to your server. From the Start menu, select All Programs, VMware, VMware vSphere Client. Enter the username and password you received when your Infinitely Virtual account was set up. The IP address is vcenter01.infinitelyvirtual.com Click the Login button. Should you receive a certificate warning, put a check mark in the Install This Certificate and do not display any security warnings option and click on ignore. Click on the VMs and templates. Select your server from the pane on the left. Now click on the Launch Virtual Machine Console icon to access the virtual console of the server. The virtual console gives a full monitor, keyboard and mouse access to the server. To send a control out delete click on VM then go to Guest and click on the Send Control Out Delete option. To close the virtual console Click on File, then Exit. In this section, we will learn how to use the virtual power buttons. Open the VMware vSphere client from Start All Programs VMware. Enter the username and password you received when your Infinitely Virtual account was set up. The IP address is vcenter01.infinitelyvirtual.com Click the Login button. If you receive a certificate warning, put a check mark in the Install this certificate and do not display any security warnings option and click on Ignore. Click on VMs and Templates and select your server from the pane on the left hand side. Click on the Launch Virtual Machine Console icon to access the virtual console of the server. 
To access the power options for the virtual machine, click on VM, then go to Power. There are six power options available. Power on, power off, suspend, reset, shut down guest and restart guest. The suspend option saves the state of the virtual machine to a file, then powers off the virtual machine. After selecting the suspend option, the confirmation window will be displayed. Click on yes to suspend the virtual machine. To turn the virtual machine on, use the power on option. After the power on, the virtual machine state is restored from the file and it resumes operation from where it was before it was suspended. The power off and reset option should only be used if the host operating system has become unresponsive. These are the equivalent of turning off the power or pressing the reset button on a real computer. Performing a power off or reset without properly shutting down the host operating system first can cause data corruption. Let's cancel this. To shut down correctly, go to VM Power Shutdown Guest. Selecting the Restart Guest option will both shut down and reboot the server correctly. In this section, we will learn how to use the virtual CD and floppy disks. Open the VMware vSphere client from Start or Programs VMware. Enter the username and password you received when your Infinitely Virtual account was set up. The IP address is vcenter01.infinitelyvirtual.com. Click Login. If you receive a certificate warning, put a check mark in the Install this certificate and do not display any security warnings option and click on Ignore. Click on the VMs and Template button. Select your server from the pane on the left hand side. Click on the Launch Virtual Machine console icon to access the virtual console of the server. To access the CD or DVD drive of your local computer from the virtual server, click on the virtual CD icon and select the CD or DVD drive of your local computer. To disconnect from the local CD or DVD drive, Click on the virtual CD-ROM icon and click Disconnect. If your computer has a floppy drive, you can access this by clicking on the virtual floppy drive icon and select the floppy drive of your local computer. To disconnect the floppy drive, click on the virtual floppy drive icon and select Disconnect. In this section, we are going to learn how to utilize performance charts in the vSphere client. Open the VMware Virtual Infrastructure Client from Start All Programs VMware. Enter the username and password you received when your Infinitely Virtual account was set up. The IP address is vcenter01.infinitelyvirtual.com. Click Login. If you receive a certificate warning, put a check mark in the Do Not Display Any Security Warnings option and click on Ignore. Make sure your server is selected in the left hand pane. And click on the Performance tab.
To change the items displayed in the performance chart, click on Advanced and Chart Options. Under the Chart Options, select what component's performance to chart. In the Objects section, select the server to chart. In the Counters section, select what to chart. Click OK. To view only the chart in a separate window, click the pop-up chart icon. To refresh the chart, click on the Refresh Chart icon. To export the chart into a file, click on the Export Chart icon. Select the file name and location from the Save As Type drop-down menu. Select what format to export to and click on Save. Performance charts can be exported into Excel Spreadsheet or as graphics in JPEG, Bitmap, GIF and PNG formats. For more information on virtual server hosting, office virtualization, or cloud computing, please visit www.infinitelyvirtual.com.